So, hey there, beautiful people. The condition that we are delving into today is called the silent liver disease. With anywhere from 25 to 40 percent of American adults presenting with it, many of you watching right now have this condition and most of you are undiagnosed. So what is it? What are the signs to look for? And why is it so crucial? And I mean crucial for you to reverse it. It is coming right up. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Hey there, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. So the mission behind this YouTube channel is to inspire you by revealing the truth about health and nutrition so that you can enjoy greater freedom. It's all about freedom physically, emotionally, and yes, even spiritually. So thank you so much for subscribing and also hitting that little bell up there. That little bell will, will uh, tell you if new videos are coming out. It's not gonna bug you or spam you or anything. It's just going to uh, tell you if a new video is coming out, you're not gonna wanna miss the next coming videos. So what is this disease? It is actually called fatty liver disease and so many of us have it and, and a lot of us don't even know we're walking around with it. Well, before I delve into what it is, we really need to know what does the liver do? Well, I'm going to tell you something, guys. This is the hardest working organ of our bodies. It is involved in about 500 500, 500 essential tasks in your body. And so it is so important to keep it healthy. It is like a, it's like the body's processing plant. Everything, and I mean everything that goes in the body, food, drugs, anything that goes in is processed through the liver. It filters, it detoxifies any substance coming in from your blood. Other important tasks include fat, carbohydrate, protein metabolism, immunity against illness and infection, and it also helps to regulate blood pressure. We always think of blood pressure as the kidneys, but it really helps to regulate blood pressure as well as excrete bile, um, excrete toxins out of the bile, via the bile. But what is fatty liver disease? Um, now, you it, you have to understand there's, there's two different kinds. There's alcoholic fatty liver, which is because someone is an alcoholic and has consumed too much alcohol and that actually uh, creates a disease in the body. We're not talking about that today. We're not talking about alcoholic. What we're talking about today is non-alcoholic fatty liver, which is also called NAFLD. Um, and this is just when fat deposits get get uh, built up in the liver and it can't do its job effectively. Now remember, all of those functions of the liver, okay? So it can't detoxify, it can't remove toxins, it can't, um, it causes you to gain weight, your immunity goes down, blood pressure goes up. So all of those things that the liver does they, it can't do it as well if you have fatty liver. So the true diagnosis of fatty liver is that it's greater than 5% of the liver is fat. And guys, it can progress to something called NASH, which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And that is even just a more severe form of fatty liver. That is when the liver becomes inflamed. And, and let me tell you something, when you have fatty liver, it could progress to liver disease. It's the number one reason for liver transplants in this country, in the US, and liver failure. So this is an important topic, beautiful people. I'm telling you, please listen carefully, actually to the next two videos. It is very common. And it's, like I said, not diagnosed very well because it's difficult to diagnose, but it increases your risk of coronary artery disease as well as diabetes. So it's so important. And it's also rising in our children. Unfortunately, uh, about 17% of our children also have fatty liver. So it's on the rise with adults and children. So how is it diagnosed? 
Um, the, the gold standard really is um, a biopsy, a liver biopsy, which is expensive, it's invasive, it, it's really a very hard way to diagnose fatty liver. So it can also be diagnosed with a liver function test when the enzymes in our liver get too high, an ultrasound where it can sort of show up on that. But there are ways of doing, of, of, being a detective when it comes to fatty liver. Now, I'm not diagnosing fatty liver in you, but because it's called a silent liver disease, it's really important that you pick up on the clues. And I'm gonna give you some clues of maybe you may have fatty liver if you have these things. So, so do you remember Jeff Foxworthy, the comedian, when he used to do the redneck Thing, you know where he would say if you have upholstered furniture on your front porch or you go to a family reunion to find a date you may be a redneck well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a list of clues things that may indicate that you have fatty liver and if you have you don't have to have all of these and uh, but you probably if you have fatty liver you have a couple of these okay so I'm not saying you have fatty liver if you have any of these I'm saying these are clues that you need to go a little bit further and anything that I tell you to do to get rid of fatty liver is even if you don't have it is going to be helpful for you okay so let's play that game okay so if you are number one if you are overweight or you have diabetes or pre-diabetes two or you have elevated blood lipids especially triglycerides or low levels of the good lipid hdl you may have fatty liver if you have low immunity high elevated blood pressure difficulty losing weight you may have fatty liver if you're taking numerous pharmaceutical medications, especially the following, these are the ones that especially could lead to fatty liver because they get metabolized in the liver. So that is methotrexate, tamoxifen, amiterone, depakote, deltiazine, cortisone, prednisone, omeprazole, which is any PPI like Prilosec, you may have a fatty liver. And one of the most important clues that you have fatty liver is that you consume a high carbohydrate, high vegetable oil diet. So if you're eating typical American food, you probably do have fatty liver. So knowledge is power. And the exciting part of all this is that this condition is 100% preventable and in most cases if it hasn't progressed too far it's also reversible that's got to be good news to so many of us so in the next video I'm not really trying to tease you guys I'm not trying to I just this video would be so long I might lose your interest but the next video please be on the lookout for it is how to reverse fatty liver how to prevent it in the first place for you that don't have it but also how to how to reverse it because again this is a powerhouse organ we have to keep it healthy and this is on the rise and it makes me sad it makes me really sad that people are suffering with this because it it opens up a lot of health issues for them so thank you so much for watching today please please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already ring the little bell up there or or hit the little bell up there also please follow me on instagram lindy ford wellness as well as facebook lindy ford nutrition and wellness and instagram and remember that everybody every single person out there deserves the freedom to live their best life